Here's what your favorite Animal Crossing character says about you. If Tom Nook is your favorite Animal Crossing character, well then you prefer money over everything. And I mean, this one was pretty obvious, but you always find ways to make more and more money. Hello, I like money. You're a very condescending person and one day you'll be very nice to someone and later you'll be very mean to them for no reason or like a really stupid one. You probably have lots of different shoes and are always saying you need new ones even though you have a ton like what are you doing? And you hate when your parents tell you to do everything around the house and always try to find a way to get out of doing things you've even tried to pay them off with all your money. I like money. Alright, we're gonna talk to the mayor. Moving on, if your favorite Animal Crossing character is Tortimer, well then you're an old soul and lots of people tell you that to the point where it actually really annoys you. You really like Chicken Alfredo and you tell your parents to make it on your birthday, but you always get full super quick, but then you have leftovers for a while, so it's okay. You've always been super interested in many different animals, but I've never owned one because your parents won't let you or you're too scared to. And you don't watch sports or movies or anything scary, but you do spend a lot of time scrolling TikTok and watching funny cat videos on YouTube. Like a lot of time. If your favorite Animal Crossing character is Rover, well then you're really old and I almost sent you into a depression when you realize that Animal Crossing New Horizons is actually already 2 plus years old. You wear lots of flannels and have even based part of your style based off of a fictional cat. You have lots of remote control toys and get them every year on Christmas, but you suck at flying a drone. And whenever you're eating dinner with your friends or family around the table, you never use a napkin and you always wipe your fingers on your pants. Me with leaves all the time and weeds and everything else. Next up, we got Leaf. If he is your favorite Animal Crossing character, well then, if you're old enough, you're probably a stoner. But if you're younger, you probably just really like looking at plants. You never really cared much about flowers or all that much in general, but when you saw Leaf and talked to him, you suddenly cared about everything to do with flowers, but only in the game, not in real life. You still don't give a crap about flowers in real life. You walk around with big headphones on everywhere you go, and you might also be the kid that went to school with lice. I'm, I'm sorry for that one. You consume ridiculous amounts of mayonnaise and secretly take spoonfuls of it sometimes. Like, I mean it's good, but not spoonful good, man. If the singing dog in K.K. Slider is your favorite Animal Crossing character, well then you obviously love music and are probably mostly into sad songs, but have a good variety of music of what you listen to. You actually do in fact love dogs in real life, however you've never met a Jack Russell which is in fact what K.K. Slider is. You played way too much, and I'm talking way too much Wii Sports Resort when it was released, and you have tons of posters on your walls, and you always find the weirdest things to put on your walls, besides posters. like. Cloths? I, I don't know. Stock Market Master, if Joan is your favorite Animal Crossing character, well then you spent way too much time looking into the Animal Crossing stock market, but have no clue how the stock market works in real life whatsoever. What a shame. You have a collection of fake fruit toys from when you were little and you still haven't thrown them away or stored them away. I really don't know with this one, I don't know what you're doing. You read lots of books on a super wide variety of things, like you have read a book about crocheting, but you still don't know a thing about it, and you have really good grades in school, but you don't obsess over them, so it's all right. Next up is Isabel. If she is your favorite Animal Crossing character, well then you're a very happy person and always like meeting new people, but you're a bit shy at first. Your love language is receiving gifts, and that's also your favorite thing to do for other people. Your house is super organized, and if someone's room isn't clean enough for you, you freak out, and you're also always washing your bed sheets every week, no matter what. And you were definitely screaming when you went to get your copy of New Horizons, and then you went on to play it all day, every day, every night, every in the middle of the night, during quarantine. <laughs> If the Fossil Master in Blathers is your favorite Animal Crossing character, well then you also do super well in your classes and ace your tests and quizzes, but you love doing it too, so you're like just obsessed with it. You hate germs and if you see a table in a restaurant that's even slightly dirty, 
It just, it really bothers you. You play lots of phone games and you're really into Mario Kart Tour and even spend money on it for whatever reason. And finally, you really like brownies and always want them for dessert. That is it. Oh my god, are these cosmic brownies? Slowly and magically pour you the best cup of coffee. If your favorite Animal Crossing character is Brewster, well then you are a super, super emphasis on super chill person. Sometimes too chill to the point where it's hard to hang out with you. How does that happen? <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe you just like gaze off, you know, just super chill. You like coffee, but you're not crazy about it. You drink coffee more for the vibes of it rather than the taste. You definitely skateboard or scooter around your neighborhood or did it a lot when you were younger and you're quiet in school and don't have many friends, but you get good grades and do what you have to do. Art and rare furniture at the beginning, but over the years, he finally the last character. If red is your favorite animal crossing character, well then don't talk to me because you're probably a very mischievous person and often tell harmless lies for literally anything literally any reason, but it's usually never anything harmful. You absolutely love Arizona iced tea, and while it is good, you have an unhealthy obsession with it, and you follow their social media on the most random social medias like Pinterest. I don't know if they're even up there, but if they were, you probably follow it. Your idea of chilling is playing Roblox or Minecraft no matter what age you are, and that's always what you want to be doing. If you're at school, you just rather play Roblox. I don't, I don't know. And you're not interested in art whatsoever. You just like his character in the game, but you're also a really risky person to be around. What's that mean? That's for you to decide. Pumpkin!